What's up, dude? This is Mir from The Bricks Dude. And today, you see I have my own tag. Double-sided. And today we have come here. We have come to this place. Show you. Show you an exhibition in a place which is called Dalia Tel Carmel. In the Culture Center. In Israel. And many kids from schools are coming to see that today. This is going to be very awesome. Like you see, many are coming, many are pouring in. And let's see what's going on. What do we have there? So this is what we're going to see today now. The guys are actually putting everything in place. Let's have a review. Oh, there is Arch of Triumph and Char de Gaulle Square. Mox. Beautiful Mox. That's a fleet of airplanes, choppers. And cars, look at that collection. Endless. And technic, technical cars. And the Bugatti, of course. Wasim! Wasim, please come over. <laughs> Would you like to say something to the audience? Now, this is the architect of this expo. His name is Wasim, and he's the collector of all the technical stuff. All right, perfect. Nice day. All right. So, look, endless collection. Look at that. And that's a Disney castle. And more technical. Wow. These are beautiful. And military. These are military vehicles. And that's the rebellion of Warsaw Ghetto. That's the famous picture from the Holocaust. That's the scene. And this was made by Roy. And I guess maybe that's Pirates of the Caribbean or some other kind of pirates. Yo ho, yo ho. Virus life for me and some gold rush. That's the Ford factory. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I really love old cars. And Saturn V. Apollo 11, the International Space Station, and that's an upgraded train. Let's keep going. This belongs to the Bricks Do team. Castle, the Castle World, Kingdoms, I prefer Castle, and a lot of mills. Well, that looks like from, I don't know, I would say Game of Thrones maybe. The dead army against the life army. And that's like a church with a big castle, more castles, dragons, other upgraded castle, and that one too. And now again, military. Now this is the, from the IDF, and this belongs to Gal. 
Rich likes to build things from the IDF. So you can see some jet fighters such as the F-15, F-16, and some other interesting things here. And this is Neve. He's the chief here. And Wuven, he's the ambassador. The Lego ambassador. Let's maybe I'll try from here. Not too much light. And robots. That's the game. Last thing, this these ones belong to Isile. Some urban stuff. New one. Old one. But that one is over Mills. Over Mills. And the merry-go-round. Also, medieval village. I think that should be taken to the kingdoms. Well, Dalit el Carmel, it's it's a town. It's one of the biggest towns of the Druze populations in Israel, and it's located on a very high place, Mount Carmel. And this mountain is the very same mountain which is mentioned in the Bible. So what you're going to see here, these are the preparations of the Israelug, that means the Israeli Lego Users Group, which is a recognized group by the World Lego Company. And the whole thing happened as part of, the, of a whole month, a culture month of the Druze community. And of course, we would like to thank the head of the council of the town, Mr. Rafiq Halabi, who honored us with his presence at the exhibition, which you can see here. And here it is, everybody's getting let's here. watch. This is how it all started. We had many, many visitors, a lot of groups from schools coming Brilliant. one after the other. So that was very challenging to present, to explain, to instruct, to show everything we had there. And we had a lot of things. We were 10 presenters, members of the Israelug. And like you can see here in this video, there was a very wide variety of all types of Lego. This is how it goes. So the kids really like that. We had trains, castles, cars, technic, mocks, sets, and modulars, city, you name it. That's just one part of what we had there. So that was very impressive, very challenging. And we really enjoyed to present and to show those things. So one of the things that every loop, every Lego users group in every country, in some countries you have more than one loop. In our country there's only one loop. So one of the activities which the Lug members do from time to time is those kind of exhibitions as we did there. As you can see, a lot of things. Look at that mock. Well, of course, this is Charles de Gaulle Square in Paris with March of the Triumph. Very impressive. And modular city, everything in one place. And like you can see, we tried to explain as much as we could about all those things, about all those gizmos, like you see here, some robots, technical mechanics, a little bit of physics, how does it work, what does it do, and you can also see some military stuff as those jet fighters, things from the IDF. Super impressive. This is Jerusalem and Tel Aviv in a kind of Lego architecture. This is Wasim Kamal. He's the architect of this exhibition and he brought us only part, but a very huge part of his Lego Technic collection. As you can see here, there was a lot to see. 
and touch. And Ruven, Ruven Kavish, is our Lego ambassador. He's like the captain of the Israelug, and he brought some technical things to show to the kids and all the other visitors. Niv, Niv Stav is, is uh, actually, he's the lieutenant of the team, very, very active, and he brought a train with some cool gadgets and also some space stuff, as you can see here. Alex Zahavi has a huge collection of cars, vehicles, airplanes, trucks. Very, very impressive. I'd like to have it. <laughs> very nice. And the next one, the next presenter, is Matan Peleg. He likes to build mocks, as you can see here, things which have to do with sea, shore, stuff like that. Very, very impressive, very creative. Maybe one day I'll build one of them. Roy Netanel, now, he is a true Lego artist. Watch what he's doing there. Look at that. He likes to actually recreate old scenes, military vehicles, and a lot of things. As you can see here, many models which he made of old vehicles. This is one of the things he likes to do. I'm not sure about this ship, if this is a mock or not, but this for sure is that thing. And also this gold rush thing, with that carriage from the Wild Wild West, and the Ford factory, of course. Also old cars, antiques, and an American diner, which you can see here. I also took a photo from the top to give you at her side, this is Amir Elat, and he's also a Lego artist. Watch that Arch of Triumph from Paris, which he made. Very impressive. Israel Zilberg, he has a very nice collection of modular Lego City, some moving things. Very, very nice to see and touch. Gal, Gal Mauda, now he's like the sergeant here, and you can see what he did here. These are old vehicles and things of the IDF, the Israeli Defense Force. And this is me, Nir, from the Bricks Dude. You can see our castles. We also made a video about our World of Lego castle, as you can see. We'll put it in the description box. And that's it. Now, let's give you another video. And this is in a portrait mode, unfortunately, so you can see. Uh, another review of the exhibition, what we presented there. Look how many cars, how many technical cars. Everything which you imagine. And those are mocks. The mocks of Matan. Also very impressive and creative. Just how jealous am I? <laughs> Look at that one. And of course, Charles de Gaulle Square, made by Amir, also very creative. And look at these. These things I like to have. These are modular and city stuff in the by side. And our world of castle, or kingdoms. I prefer to call it castle, Lego castle. So we brought almost everything we have just to put it there and that's it. So this is how it was. We had many, many visitors from a couple of schools from Dalia Tel Carmel. And I think this was a very special day for them. So I hope you like this video. And if you're not subscribed, please do. Thank you.